How's it going everybody? Uh, I'm Ryan from Hellcat Design USA and today we're going to go over how to do use the denoise tools that are uh, in Blender. Um, so we're going to go over both denoising tools, the one that's from Intel and the one that's from Nvidia. The one that's from Intel is really awesome. I think it pretty much works on all aspects of Blender. I think if anybody, everybody would be able to use that one. And then the other one is the Nvidia denoiser and if you have that then you have an Nvidia graphics card. All right, so let's get started. I just created a real quick scene here, dropped down the samples super low, uh, turned it over to cycles, and I mean, I'm just as hard as I can trying to uh, get as much noise as I could in here so you can kind of see, you know, as much noise as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, this as my reference and I'm just gonna hit F12 and render this. Now, if you have the NVIDIA, if you have an NVIDIA card, you can actually download the new, uh, dri your new driver for um, the, um, your GeForce experience. And in Blender, the top corner up here, you'll actually have a little thing called Denoise. Um, you can actually just use this right here if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and you want to check out this. You can try this and see if it works for you really well, but there's another way to do it we're going to do in a second, but let's try this. Okay, now that that is done, um, let's see. Uh, we're going to take a look at our denoise tool here, and if you can see, all of those fireflies are gone. Um, you're going to have some artifacts that you will always have, especially if there is a couple of fireflies that are close together. But for the most part, that will get rid of the fireflies, smooth uh, everything out, try to get the color based off of the surrounding colors, and so on and so forth, so that you get this effect. And it looks really good. Uh, there's no sharp edges, though. It kind of looks like it's almost a um, foggy material. So that might not bring in the sharpest reflections, but that's perfectly fine. Um, most of the time, for most renders, it's mostly not even going to be noticeable. But there you go. It's that simple. You just come up here and click the denoise tool if you have an NVIDIA card and you have the new driver. Okay, now the other way to do it, and I'm actually going to X out of that and hit F12 again and re-render because I want a new un or a, a new noise tool here so we can see how uh, noisy that is there. Okay, and I'm actually going to just put that down. Come over to our compositing panel, and in our compositing panel, I've brought in a viewer node. Uh, if you just hit Shift A, um, output, and then viewer, you can bring that in. Or you can you actually even just click in your backdrop here. Uh, on the viewer panel and you can actually adjust all of your stuff there uh, we can actually zoom out so you can actually see the whole picture um, but I'm gonna zoom in to about right there and so you can actually see the denoise tool that works now in the compositing section this is actually how simple this is you just hit shift A um, color or sorry filter and then denoise and you just place that in between your render layer and your viewer and it literally does the same thing. Now if you notice on this one, um, let's zoom in a little bit, you can actually see um, a little bit sharper lines than the NVIDIA denoiser that's there because the NVIDIA denoiser is basically taking the pixels and then operating off of the ones that are surrounding it. So if it looks at a pixel and says, oh, well this one's completely different colors than all the pixels surrounding it, it'll change it, it'll try to adapt it to that. What this tool will do is actually um, try to figure out what's going on with the lines and the renders and so on and so forth. So you actually generally get a better output by using the denoise tool, the denoise node here in your compositing section. And that's legitimately it. That is the video, five minute video on how to add the denoise tool. Uh, if you have other stuff, you can also add the normal to it and Albedo and all that other stuff to add even more detail to it. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Um, all right, catch you later.